is up you guys welcome back to my channel today I wanted to film a tutorial using new products so I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the products that I'm trying out and whether I like them or not and I created this tutorial for this nice like neutral glam kind of look I really love the way it turned out so yeah if you want to see that go ahead and keep watching um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and if not, I would just <laughs> stop watching now. Don't waste your time watching something you're not interested in. Um, if you haven't subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe to check out more of my videos. I'm going to be posting a lot more often, and if you want to see more, check out my Instagram or my Snapchat. I'm also on Twitter. I'll leave all of those linked down below. Hello, so I finally figured out how to use my camera, thank god, and I have it set up, but the only problem is it shuts off after like 10 minutes, so let's hope that what happens, I actually filmed this tutorial once before, and it got shut off after like 10 minutes, and I didn't realize until after I filmed the whole thing. So now I get to do it again, yay, who cares? So today I thought it'd be nice to do a tutorial with a bunch of products that are either new or just like new to me and I'm not really sure where I'm going with this but what could go wrong? I'm just gonna use products that I like that are new and see where it goes. So I don't have much to say so let's just get started. So I'm starting out with the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer and I'm just gonna put that all over. I love this a lot, as you can tell, because it's almost empty. Okay, and now I'm using the Becca Under Eye Concealer Brightening Get Focused Color Correcting Primer. <laughs> um, this is really pink, so I think a lot of people are like scared to use it, but literally, it's the best. I love it so much. Ooh, that's a lot. So I'm just going to put that under my eyes. I think people are on a tour of my dorm. Is that my RA? What is go- Weird. So now I'm using the- What is this? Sephora Pantone Conceal Palette. And as you can tell, this is very loved. Um, I'm just going to use this as a concealer. I'm actually in the market to buy a new spot concealer, so if anyone has any recommendations, please leave it down below. Now I'm using the new NYX Total Control Foundation Drops, and this is the shade 10 Buff. Take my drops and just kind of let them run down and blend it out. This is pretty full coverage, but it's really lightweight. That's why I like it. Alright, next up I'm taking the Maybelline Master Conceal. This is shade 10, Fair. Um, I really don't like the applicator on this. I feel like it either comes out like all at once or nothing. So I like to squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand and apply it with my fingertips. So I'm just going to put a little bit on there and use my finger to apply it. Alright, and now my brand new clean, well it's not new, but I just cleaned it the first time in a while. My beauty blender looks like a fresh egg, <laughs> like honestly, it was like brown until I cleaned it. So I'm going to hit that with some of the locket spray just to dampen it up. And blend.
Now I'm grabbing my NYX Studio HD setting powder. This is just the translucent one. And I think I got a defective one because it like squeaks when I open it. Like, of course now it doesn't do it, but I promise it's literally so annoying, but I love this powder. So I'm gonna live with the sacrifice. Um, this is just a fluffy brush that I'm gonna use to blend it in. Maybe it'll squeak this time. It's terrible. Every time it does that. I think I just got like a defective one. And next up, I'm using the Lorac Pro To Go palette. And I'm going to be going in with a mix of pearl and shell to set my nose. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of pearl. I don't want it to be too shimmery. All right, now I'm going in with my favorite bronzer. This is somewhat new, but I just got it a couple weeks ago. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Y'all, this, shut up, shut up. I don't need your motorcycle. All right, this is literally, it blends so nicely. And like, if you smell it, I don't know if you've ever smelled this in the store, like, mm, it smells like, tropical I want to go to the beach like it smells so good so I'm going in with just a fluffy morphe brush and I'm gonna put that into my cheekbones and my forehead area Next up, I'm taking my Shade Light Eyes palette. Yes, I know this is an eye palette, but I haven't gotten around to picking up the actual Shade Light palette, so I like to take this center shade here and use it for my contour. All right, so I'm gonna be taking this just like angled fluffy brush and packing this on and just putting it right in the hollows of my cheeks. And then I take the same brush with more product and I just kind of squeeze it to make it more flat and use that to contour my nose. All right, so today I'm gonna use the Tarte Amazon, blah, 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 the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. This is the um, Sephora birthday gift for this year. And focusing it on the apples of my cheeks because I'm really into the lifted cheek look right now and then bringing it up right above my contour a little. Looks good. Alright, so for my highlight today, I'm using Becca Opal. And when I do my highlight, I really like to highlight, highlight. I like to focus it on one side of the brush like this. And then just use that same side to place it. I've been loving using this NYX um, Plump It Up Plumper. I'm not sure if this is new. I actually had it for a while, but I just now started using it. So I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in shade Blonde. And I'm using their brush, just like this is like the thinner one of the two that they have. And I've got to pull my mirror closer. Alright, now I like to take this little flat brush here and I'm going in with my Kat Von D Shade Light Eyes and I'm using this brown shade over here. And I'm just gonna use that to set any areas where I have pomade that I don't have a bunch of hair. Okay, so now I'm using Benefit Highbrow just to 
kind of carve them out a little more. Okay, so if you're like me, you <laughs> I literally live off of eyeshadow primer samples because I feel like every palette comes with like a primer sample. So I don't think I've ever bought a full size shadow primer just because like everything comes with the sample. So today I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I've been really loving this. I had like three of these mini ones and this is my last one and it's almost out. So maybe I will buy my first real size primer. I like this because it's tinted and it's not too like thick so all right so I'm gonna be using a couple of palettes today I'm gonna to be using my ColourPop pressed shadows um, this is a custom palette I made got a couple of shimmers and then this matte one down here I think I've used that like seriously every day and then I'm gonna be using my modern Renaissance palette which I love of course and then from the depths, I'm digging out my Christmas in New York chocolate shop palette. I really don't feel like I give this enough attention. Like it's got some really gorgeous shades in here. Like there are some really pretty shades in here. I just don't use it enough. It's like so big that it kind of sits in like the bottom of my drawer. All right, so I'm gonna start out warming up my crease. I'm gonna use this color here called Chocoholic. It's a really nice light taupe. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe crease brush. All right, and next I'm gonna go in with this matte shadow from ColourPop. These are their new pressed shadows. I love these, like especially for the price. They're very pigmented and they blend so nicely. Like I definitely invest in these. I think this is the shade Bel Air. It's just like a taupe. It's a little bit darker than the chocoholic shade I was just using. So I'll put some of that on my Morphe blending brush and I'm going to put that also in my crease. Just focusing it deeper into the crease than the last shade. Going back to my chocolate shop palette, I'm going in with this shade right here. Ugh. I'm going in with this shade right here, Toffee Crunch. This is just a little bit darker of a brown. Okay, now using a smaller Morphe brush, I'm gonna take my Anastasia palette and go in with, whoa, whoa! <laughs> go in with the shade Cypress Umber up here. I'm going to take this shade up here out of my chocolate bar palette, Inner Light. It's like kind of a peachy gold shimmer. So I'm going in with my Naked 2 fluffy brush and I'm going to use this for my crease. Next is a product that I'm really excited about. This is the Makeup Forever Starlit Powder. This is shade, I don't know, it has two different numbers. It's either shade 15 or 6U01. It's like a really bronzy, shimmery. I think they just redid the packaging on this. I'm not sure if these are new or not, but I know the packaging is new. So this is like a shimmer powder. And I'm actually gonna take some concealer and dab it on my eyes just to make this stick a little better. So I'm using this Morphe brush. I got these in a pack and they don't have the names on them, so whatever. Anyways, I'm just gonna hit this with some locket spray and then I love, love, love the packaging on this, how it has the little hole and it basically makes it mess free, so. Just dip my brush in there and then tap off any extra and then pack it on my lid. Yes! Can you see that glow? We're going to go in for the inner corner highlight and for that today I'm going to use Modern Renaissance, the shade, oh, 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 the shade Vermeer right here.
Now, of course, I'm going to hit the whole thing with my locket setting spray. And now I'm taking the black Marc Jacobs eyeliner. This is my favorite waterline liner. And now I'm using the Urban Decay Sub Urban Decay Urban <laughs> Decay Subversion Primer. This is literally the best lash primer on the market. Like, oh my. Now the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Alright, and then for my bottom lashes, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. Um, I don't like to have like really big bottom lashes, but I like them to be really long. So this is definitely a lengthening mascara. Alright, so today on my lips, I'm using this Buxom Plump Line Plumping Lip Liner, and this is in White Russian. Um, I actually got this... Oh, I held it upside down. Cool. The Buxom Plump Line White Russian <laughs> Lip Plumper. I'm learning. Anyways, I won this off of their Instagram Plump Dimension Contest, and I've had the White Russian Lip Gloss for forever, and I literally love it. It has been my go-to for, like, such a long time. So when I found out that they were going to be sending me one of these, I was, like, jumped right on the White Russian color, and I love it. This is the Tarte Lip Paint in Birthday Suit. This is actually also part of the Sephora birthday gift. Um, now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Alexis Rin ColourPop. This is their new line, and this is the ultra satin lip in bare necessities it's like a nude i'm going to use just a teeny bit of this towards the center of my lips to give it a little more dimension all right so this is the completed look and i really love the way this turned out it's like a nice like glam but with like neutral colors like I feel like I would be totally comfortable wearing this like every day and so yeah if you loved this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up um comment down below anything you want to see me film like I said I'm going to be filming a lot more and I definitely need some ideas of what people want to see so leave a comment um if you liked this and you like me go ahead and check out my instagram follow me on snapchat to see more of my everyday life so i'll leave my instagram and snapchat handles down below in the comments and if you keep watching i'll link it to one of my recent videos so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed bye